They, as you heard, the Prime Minister of St. Lucia and his cabinet were very pleased to have met in an extended session with the President and his team to discuss areas of bilateral collaboration between Guadeloupe and um, St. Lucia. But all of this in the context of the framework of Guadeloupe's membership in the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States and its commitment to deepening regional integration. We, uh, we, President Shalous will be speaking um, and explaining the areas of collaboration, but this represents a high watermark for the collaboration between Guadeloupe and the OECS. We have discussed a range of areas, and importantly, not just things that we intend to do, but review of initiatives that are well on the way, some of which would be really meaningful to parents, uh, what I call the public street, ordinary citizens out there who will see directly and concretely the benefits that are on the way that will be useful to them and their families in the collaboration between Guadeloupe, the French members of the OECS, and the rest of the OECS. For us, at the end of the day, regional integration is only meaningful if it directly impacts the lives, the livelihoods, and the opportunities for persons across and citizens of the member states. This is a unique opportunity for us to really have the OECS working as a seamless region, and we are extremely happy for President Chalousse's visit, and we look forward to what the future will bring. Thank you very much, President Chalousse, for this initiative, and we look forward and pledge our deep collaboration with Guadeloupe. Good morning to all, good afternoon. First of all, I wish to extend my thanks to uh, Dr. Dedicus Jules, uh, DG. C'est avec plaisir que nous nous trouvons ici à cette délégation avec le président de la coopération, Monsieur Patrick Selin, notre commissaire. We are very pleased to be here with our delegation, with Vice President of the Commission for Regional Integration, Mr. Patrick Selin, and uh, our commissioner to the OECS, Mr. Rudy Blombou. Madame Isaac, qui est la directrice de la coopération avec son équipe. Mrs. Isaac, who is uh, the head of the cooperation division with her entire team. C'est vrai que le COVID a retardé un peu nos travaux. It's true that COVID did delay a little bit our initiatives. Mais c'est un début aujourd'hui ici à St. Lucie. But today marks a historic debut here in St. Lucia. Et nous espérons aussi euh, par la suite faire la tournée des autres îles qui composent l'OECS. And we also hope in the near future to continue touring the rest of the islands composing the OECS. Parler de coopération n'est pas signe, seulement signer un document. Talking about cooperation is not only signing a document. Et comme le disait le DJ, euh, ce sont les mesures qu'on nous mettra en place pour nos territoires respectifs. And as DJ just mentioned, it is all about the measures that we will take to four territories. Aujourd'hui, les choses se calment, donc nous sommes prêts vraiment à travailler euh, avec vous, avec l'OECS. Things mm. are quieting down now, so we are fully ready to work with alongside you at the OECS. Nous avons parlé de la jeunesse, euh, de l'agriculture, de l'économie bleue, de, de l'enseignement. We've discussed uh, youth, uh, blue economy, education. Et aujourd'hui, on vient de me présenter un, une jeune dame qui travaille à l'OSCS et qui revient de la Guadeloupe en soins dans notre, dans notre uh, Singua. And actually, I was just introduced by a young lady uh, today uh, who just came back from Guadeloupe where she was being treated. She was accessing healthcare at Singua. Elle est aujourd'hui vraiment euh, la preuve vivante que nous pouvons avoir une très bonne et longue coopération en matière de santé entre nos îles. She is the living proof that we can today have a sustainable cooperation framework between our islands for healthcare. Nous avons aussi discuté avec le Premier ministre et aussi le directeur de l'OSCS du problème de transport que nous devons régler pour que nous puissions avoir plus de facilité pour pouvoir échanger et nous déplacer sur nos territoires. We've also discussed yesterday with uh, Prime Minister and the uh, Director General of the OECS the issue of transportation, which we must fix. Fix. Sorry. Nous avons aussi, euh, nous savons aussi que le Corica a uh, de gros projets avec la Caraïbe que nous soutenons. We also know oui. that Corica, uh, a Guadeloupe-based uh, organization, has huge projects going on for the Caribbean and with the Caribbean. 
Donc je tiens à dire que notre visite n'est pas une visite de courtoisie, mais vraiment une visite de travail et de mise en œuvre des projets que nous souhaitons vraiment euh, partager avec le SS. Thus, there is more than courtesy to our visit. It's really a visit to start working and start moving things along with the OECS. Dorénavant, nous aurons un, un, co un collaborateur installé à Saint Lucie. Uh, from now on, we actually have uh, an agent uh, placed in Saint Lucia in office. We also know mm -hmm. that Coreca, uh, a Guadeloupe-based uh, organization, has huge projects going on for the Caribbean and with the Caribbean. Donc je tiens à dire que notre visite n'est pas une visite de courtoisie, mais vraiment une visite de travail et de mise en œuvre des projets que nous souhaitons vraiment euh, partager avec le SS. Thus, there is more than courtesy to our visit. It's really a visit to start working and start moving things along with the OECS. Dorénavant, nous aurons un, un, co un collaborateur installé à Saint Lucie. Uh, from now on, we actually have uh, an agent uh, placed in Saint Lucia in office qui fera le relais avec nos services à la région Guadeloupe et aussi avec le SES pour notre coopération. Who will be bridging the gap between our services uh, within the Guadeloupe Regional Council and the OECS pertaining to regional cooperation. J'ai l'habitude de dire, je ne suis pas celui qui dit on va faire et rien ne se fait. You know, I usually say, I'm not the one who's going to say, let's do this and then nothing gets done. Alors rassurez-vous que je serai derrière tous ces projets de manière à ce que nous puissions avancer ensemble dans l'intérêt de nos territoires. So you, be sure that I will be personally monitoring all of these projects to make sure that uh, they are moving in the direction that we've decided. Je tiens pour finir à, à encore remercier Monsieur le Directeur Didacus parce que sa confiance nous a motivés à aller encore plus loin dans l'intérêt de la Guadeloupe, de la Martinique et de l'OECS. Once again, I wish to extend my thanks uh, to Director General Dr. Didicus Jules because his trust in us has motivated us to continue working towards uh, the best interest of Guadeloupe, Martinique, and the OECS as a whole. Notre déplacement aujourd'hui à saint Lucie nous a permis d'identifier les personnes ressources avec qui nous aurons à travailler. Uh, our visit to St. Lucia has helped us identify the key persons we will need to be in contact with to work. Et nous commençons à voir les résultats des échanges, surtout euh, avec les Saint-Lucien qui commencent à parler français. And we are now starting to see uh, the results of all of these initiatives with saint Lucian speaking French. Et c'est ce que nous voulons que ce soit pour la Guadeloupe et la Martinique, car, car je le dis souvent, il n'est pas normal que nos deux îles ne parlent pas anglais et de notre côté, que saint Lucie ne parle pas français et espagnol comme ça devrait l'être dans nos territoires. Because I always say this, it's a nonsense that in Martinique and Guadeloupe we do not speak English at this point in time, just like it is a nonsense for St. Lucians not to be speaking French or Spanish at this point in time. Donc encore merci à vous et nous mettrons tout en œuvre pour que cette collaboration puisse durer et puisse apporter ses fruits. So once again, thank you and we will do our best for a fruitful and sustainable collaboration. Thank you, President. Thank you, DG, for the warm welcome. En qualité de commissaire pour la Guadeloupe au sein de l'OECS, je suis un homme heureux de voir euh, les territoires Guadeloupe. Oui, c'est pas le sujet. Ok, c'est le sujet. Comme vous l'avez dit, Président, c'est une bonne chose pour les gens de la Guadeloupe. Je vais vous dire que c'est le French. Je peux aussi dire que c'est le plaisir de la Guadeloupe. Je ne peux pas le faire ici. As a, as a commissioner from Guadeloupe, I, I'm, a, I'm a pleased man to, to see the, the delegation here working on subjects. Uh, two years ago, we signed uh, to integrate OCS as an associate member. And since then, uh, the, the, the news has been quite rich uh, with events unfortunate events that show the importance of what we've done in 2019. It is quite important now to, to be together, to sit together. Uh, we share the same ocean, the same sea. We, we should share the same, we, we share the same destiny as islands in the Caribbean. And uh, this is a good thing for us to, to, to share the knowledge, the technical, 
uh, knowledge that we develop in each of our items and uh, je vais continuer en français quand même et donc c est, c est, c est, il y a quelque chose de, 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 de capital stratégie en commun parce que ce qui nous attend euh, ce que nous vivons aujourd'hui Yes, there is something crucial to this shared strategy. Because what we live today uh, goes to show that outside of ourselves, there is no solution for the future, for our future. So once again, I'm a very happy commissioner looking at the works that we started two years ago and at what we have to do now to continue moving forward together. Thank you. Well, let me just say that it is a very simple thing because any cooperation starts with communication. If we are not able to speak to each other and understand each other, then there's no basis for cooperation, there's no basis for human understanding, there's no basis for exchange of any kind. And uh, <coughs> the fortunate thing for us with the membership of Guadeloupe and Martinique is that while there is a linguistic divide between English and, and French, there is no linguistic divide in terms of Creole. So for us in the Commission, there are three languages that need to be prioritized in order to deepen regional cooperation. Our English-speaking member states, those of us from the English side, need to learn French as rapidly as possible. In many of the OECS member states, at the level of the education system, even in the case of St. Lucia, from primary level, students are learning to speak French. We now need to ensure that they also, from the French side, begin to learn English. Um, we share Creole as a common language between Martinique, Guadeloupe, and um, uh, Guadeloupe, Martinique, St. Lucia, and Dominica, and to a limited extent, Grenada. So that, that common bond, I think, speaks to our, our cultural heritage that needs to be also addressed. And you would have heard that the government of St. Lucia has announced its intention to name St. Lucia to make Creole an, an official language. So I think we are well poised with these initiatives. At the level of the commission, we've discussed with our colleagues from both Martinique and Guadeloupe building a capacity for simultaneous language operation. So you will see in the future our website, the artificial intelligence on that would allow people to read the website in its entirety in French, um, in the near, in hopefully in the not too distant future in Creole as well. And um, all of our documentation be available <coughs> in English as well as in French. And likewise, the conduct of all working groups, all meetings be done in both languages. Yes, I just wanted to add on to what uh, Dr. Didicus Jules just uh, mentioned. The barriers of language block a lot of economy of the country. Language barriers hamper a territory's economy. Quand on se comprend, on arrive plus facilement à partager certaines choses, à dire certaines choses, mais surtout à expliquer et à conseiller. When we understand each other, of course, it's easier to communicate, to explain, but also to uh, communicate, conseiller. Uh, communicate and advise. L'exemple de cette Lucie me parle. Uh, C'est une île très touristique. The uh, example of Saint Lucia is very telling. It is a tourist-oriented island. Quand vous avez un exemple des Français qui viennent ici, s'ils se font comprendre, ils peuvent consommer, ils peuvent se déplacer plus facilement. So, for instance, if you have French tourists coming to Saint Lucia, 
if they're understood, they're going to be able to consume, buy, and move around more easily. Et à l'inverse, c'est la même chose pour nous Guadeloupéens qu'en anglais, pour cette aussi en français, de pouvoir se comprendre et peut-être euh, s'expatrier pour aller chercher du travail dans un autre pays où on sait qu'on pourra parler, on pourra se faire comprendre. And likewise for Guadeloupeans coming to St. Lucia, it's not just about visiting the country and knowing they can be understood. It's also about finding opportunities maybe for work uh, in a country that speaks a different language than our own. La barrière des langues a, à un certain moment, beaucoup bloqué le développement économique. The language barrier has definitely, at some point in time, hampered our economic development. Ce n'est pas une question de récolter des bénéfices, c'est surtout ce que nous pouvons faire ensemble. It's not so much about the benefits we reap, but about what we can do together. Aujourd'hui, je peux dire que nous avons des jeunes euh, des, de cette Lucie qui ont commencé une formation de français euh, en Guadeloupe. À distance. À distance. So, for instance, today we have uh, young Saint Lucians who've been following a training course in French, well, they're learning French uh, remotely, um, but in Guadeloupe. Nous avons vu euh, euh, pendant la crise sanitaire comment nous avons pu la Guadeloupe surtout, je ne sais pas pour les autres, hein, accompagner les pays de la Caraïbe qui étaient en difficulté. Uh, we've also seen how during the health crisis, um, how we could help other countries with their systems uh, when they were struggling. Sur euh, l'économie même, nous avons pu permettre à certains chefs d'entreprise de se déplacer dans la Caraïbe. Uh, when it comes to economy per se, we've helped some business women and men, business persons, entrepreneurs move around the Caribbean. Et comme je le dis, malgré les deux ans de Covid, aujourd'hui, euh, il est sûr que nous allons tout mettre en œuvre pour que nos jeunes étudiants puissent se déplacer dans la Caraïbe et vice-versa. And today, in spite of two years with Covid, we're going to do our best uh, to help students move around uh, the region to pursue their studies. Nous avons beaucoup de spécificités en commun et avec le président de la Chambre d'agriculture, M. Célin, qui est là, qui est aussi président de la coopération, je pense qu'on aura aussi d'autres choses à mettre en place euh, sur nos deux îles. Enfin, je parle de cette ci pour l'instant, quand nous sommes à cette ci um, We have a lot of shared specificities. Um, we have our head of uh, the Chamber of Agriculture of Guadeloupe here, Mr. Célin, who's also the head of the Commission for Regional Integration, um, whom I think will be able to uh, help St. Lucia and Guadeloupe establish shared um, initiatives. Nous avons aujourd'hui, je laisse M. Lobo en parler, un jeune saint lucien qui est à l'université. C'est un exemple très intéressant, mais qui n'est pas le seul, qui est aujourd'hui majeur de promotion à la faculté des lettres en Guadeloupe, qui, euh, sa position de majeur lui permet de faire sa deuxième année, il a, il a démarré une licence en Guadeloupe, de, de faire sa deuxième année à l'université de Cambridge en Angleterre. Donc c'est un exemple de... Yes, <laughs> so we have this example, a great example of a St. Lucian student who actually uh, graduated top of his class this year uh, at the uh, literature department in uh, the University of Guadeloupe. And as such, he's had the opportunity to do his sophomore year in Cambridge University in the UK. Cet exemple-là, il est, il est intéressant parce que cette coopération, nous la souhaitons dans les deux sens. Nous souhaitons aussi avoir, ici, nous avons vu le collège hier, juste à côté, nous souhaitons aussi avoir des Guadeloupéens qui viennent se former ici sur des thématiques qui, qui, qui leur seront bénéfiques. And it's an interesting example because we wish uh, this dynamic to go both ways. Uh, so for instance, yesterday we visited the Saint, uh, Sir Arthur Lewis uh, Community College and we wish for Guadeloupéens students to have the opportunity to come and study uh, specific topics or fields here at this college. Et en préambule, <coughs> j'ai pris l'exemple de l'employé de l'ESS qui a été se faire soigner en Guadeloupe de, de, dans notre TEPSCAN et euh, l'employé a été accompagné par euh, des collègues de la région Guadeloupe, je crois, un chauffeur à disposition. Uh, so earlier, um, I did mention that example of an OECS agent who was uh, treated uh, via our PET scan in Guadeloupe. Actually, she was um, helped by our staff at the Guadeloupe Regional Council. I think that uh, we mobilized a chauffeur 
to drive her around while she was here. Oui, euh, c'est l'un des sujets euh, d'actualité les plus prégnants en ce moment pour nous. Yes, this is one of the most important topics uh, for us at the moment. Euh, L'interconnectivité de, de nos territoires est vitale pour nos économies, mais aussi pour la vie culturelle de nos, de nos populations. Uh, interconnectedness between our territories is absolutely vital, uh, not only for our economy, but also for cultural links, etc. Aucune de nos compagnies aériennes euh, n'est sortie indemne de la crise que nous venons de subir. Uh, none of our airlines uh, came out unscathed from this crisis that we just went through. Uh, nous avons suivi avec euh, beaucoup d'inquiétude les évolutions de l'Aliat. We've been very concerned uh, with how things have unfolded with Riyadh. Parce que nous avons Air Caraïbes et Air Antilles au niveau des uh, territoires francophones qui uh, ne sont pas en très bonne situation non plus. Because uh, our airlines uh, at the French-speaking territories level, Air Antilles and Air Caraïbes, are not in a very good standing either. Alors, cela pourrait nous donner aussi, uh, ce sera une bonne opportunité, je pense, en tout cas je veux le croire, de repenser le ciel caribéen cette fois-ci ensemble. So I think this would give us a good opportunity to rethink Caribbean skies together. Nous avions un programme, initié un programme il y a quelques années, Carib Sky, où Air Antilles, l'Aliat et Winner, qui sont trois compagnies de, de la région, commençaient à partager, ont commencé par le partage de codes. So, yeah, so we did launch a few years back the Carib Sky project, which involved Air Antilles, Liat, and Winair, and uh, which began with co-chairing. La situation actuelle nous oblige à aller plus vite et plus loin. Donc c'est ce que nous entendons, en tout cas, euh, à notre niveau, contribuer à faire. But the current situation demands that we go further and think bigger. So this is what we are going to endeavor to do. So there, yeah, to further to what... Um, Commissioner Blanco has said there are a number of initiatives that are on the way in the OECS. As he mentioned, the Carib Sky Initiative is going to be redesigned in order to take account of the new reality and the difficulties of travel in the region. Um, in terms of sea transportation, ever since Hurricane Maria and Uma, we had tried to get Express the Z, which was really the backbone of intra-regional ferry travel to extend its services as far south as, long as Grenada and as far north as the British Virgin Islands. That was not successful at the time, but now we see the need to ensure that this is done. So there will be discussions with the French together with those owners um, and traditional bo um, boats persons who've been plying the waters with smaller boats. What we'd like to see happen is the creation of a solid network of sea transportation that has the capability of moving people, goods, as well as vehicles across the, the chain of islands, and to do so in as seamless a manner as possible. This would mean bringing to the table the French ferry system, the indigenous boat owners, as well as foreign investors who are prepared to invest in the wider region. And it has to be done in such a way that rather than uh, fierce competition given the size and limitations of the region. It is a cooperative endeavor that will meet the needs of the region adequately. We are very clear in the OECS that initiatives involving foreign investment should be a benefit to the people of the region and provide opportunities for indigenous capital formation and investment. So people like the organizations like the credit unions would have a vital role to play in the opportunity to invest in those things. Um, with respect to the air transportation as well, we have had discussions with Guadeloupe, and in fact this morning, following our discussions, I have had um, a discussion with the Director General of the Eastern Caribbean Civil Aviation Authority to ask that Guadeloupe be immediately invited to be an observer to ECHO, so that um, Guadeloupe can be part of all of the discussions going forward as we move to restore category one status for all of the airports of the OECS. We are working actively with the U.S. Federal Aviation Authority 
to bring our aviation um, our aviation standards to a much higher level so that there can be ease of movement across the region. So the communication thing is a vital step in ensuring that deeper integration, the, the, the stimulation of our economies, the protection of our supply chains, especially given the war in Ukraine and the fact that we've seen shortages of basic items like rice and sugar in some cases. All of this is a consequence of the constriction of the crisis, the pandemic, the war in Ukraine. We need to have the means to trade, to move, to traverse the region easily, cheaper, and more effectively. Yes, I am very satisfied. I mean, the head of my cooperation division is satisfied. <laughs> Ce n'est qu'il va me prendre contact avec les personnes ressources de l'ACS pour pouvoir travailler sur les différents sujets que nous avons abordés avec le Premier ministre et le ACE. Because her team got to network and get in touch with all of the key uh, persons at the OECS um, to continue working on these issues. Nous sommes aussi rassurés de l'installation de notre chargé de communication en chargé de coopération. Donc, euh, pour nous, effectivement, les choses devraient démarrer convenablement et nous reviendrons un peu plus souvent. Nous sommes aussi très satisfaits avec la façon dont notre agent en charge de la coopération entre la Commission et le Guadeloupe Regional Council a pris sa place ici et nous reviendrons plus souvent. On parle de coopération aujourd'hui, mais je pense qu'il y a très longtemps, Guadeloupe est un exemple. Guadeloupe et Saint-Lucie devraient déjà être des îles voisines, des îles amies. Of course, we're talking about cooperation today, but Guadeloupe and Saint Lucia should already be operating like neighboring islands, like close and friendly islands. Antigua, Barbade, autres. With Antigua and Barbuda and other islands as well. Il faut qu'on nous puissions permettre à nos populations de se déplacer dans nos îles comme deux communes voisines. We must give our populations the possibility of moving um, from one island to the other just like they would from one city to the other. Nous avons beaucoup de Guadeloupéens qui vivent ici et des Saint-Lucie en Guadeloupe que nous ne connaissons pas. We have a lot of uh, Guadeloupéens here in St. Lucia living and likewise we have lots of St. Lucians living in Guadeloupe but we're not aware of them. Donc aujourd'hui je pense qu'il faudrait qu'on puisse vraiment se rapprocher et apprendre à vivre ensemble dans tous les domaines. So I think at this point, it's really important that we get closer together and uh, learn how to work together in every sector. <laughs> I will be back more often. Uh, <laughs>